good afternoon and uh, many thanks for inviting me to be part of this uh, very momentous occasion of releasing a very important paper uh, on the state of the home health care industry and what can um, what could be the future of it so i just uh, wanted to break this down into two parts i want to provide a little bit of background and context and then i'd request uh, vivek to come in and uh, share his views about the paper itself um, before of course we look forward to dr paul and his uh, comments on uh, what we are trying to do here so the home healthcare and outside of hospital healthcare uh, industry is an age old one actually it is um, but it's always been an unorganized uh, low key affair uh, not necessarily driven by any medical protocols with a lot of supervision and quality standards but it's always been lurking around however in the last i would say about 7 to 8 years uh, with um, uh, some corporate players coming in to uh, take this up much more seriously uh, this this uh, the the face of this whole industry and the kind of offerings that we bring to the table have changed pretty dramatically in the last um, uh, half a decade and more uh, and what happened Uh, interestingly has happened during covid as i'm sure uh, a lot of people are aware that uh, uh, the home healthcare industry uh, stepped in to support on two counts one is a lot of covid patients who were uh, isolated at home uh, needed uh, uh, remote monitoring and um, i have back to what mr khan said about digital healthcare playing an important role in the uh, in the covid period and the home healthcare industry with the help of digital health they have played an important role in supporting them at home uh, remotely but also they played a very important role in especially more so in the second wave in providing support at home there is a, the, a very large number of moderately sick patients had to be stabilized at home with medical support including uh, including respiratory care etc and so that was a, a big piece of work that uh, the industry stepped up to support also because uh, a lot of the hospitals were stuck with covid patients and beds were not available a lot of other services also ended up getting uh, delivered at home now what this did is in a matter of two years i think it has changed the uh, perception of consumers and customers and patients and other stakeholders of the healthcare industry regarding the importance and the potential contribution of the home healthcare sector in managing the health and in getting health to the corners of this country to all the citizens across their entire life cycle so in this context we uh, were very grateful that nat health and price waterhouse joined hands with us to help us put this uh, paper together now may i request vivek to share it and that's why you know we all came together as uh, as an association and we partnered with nat health uh, and and pwc to come up with a paper and this paper was focused one to just educate the whole healthcare ecosystem about the industry the contribution and what kind of things which we have done probably many people don't know uh, and and uh, and tell what all can be done by the industry and how it can be a big and important player in solving the problems of the country and and with that uh, we also have put in recommendations in the paper for uh, for the for the peers for the government um, to showcase how internationally some you know this industry has has helped uh, in the healthcare uh, ecosystem also what all you know what kind of outcomes can be created and and so on um, so we look forward to um, to you know people reading this paper and and i'm sure you guys will enjoy what you what we've written and the recommendations are taken up by uh, the government as well as the peers as well as uh, other people in the other uh, you know constituents of the healthcare ecosystem and we see this industry progressing and trying to solve the problem of the country thank you